Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do another vlog and since last Sunday or the beginning of this week I saw a lot of Magical Readathon vlogs and I thought wow I didn't vlog anything and I'm participating so I decided to do this random vlog. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I've read two books for the Owl's Magical Readathon so far. I read my arithmancy book, a book by more than one author, and my her herbology? No, Ma Care of Magical Creatures book, a book with a land animal on the cover. And I am currently reading Ancient Runes and Charms. And those two books are Clash of Kings and Scarlet. I am on page... 120 and I'm really enjoying this so far. I just love how um, into the story I, I am s since the beginning honestly and for a lot of books it takes me time to get into the story but with this one I just am really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the fact that Cinder is in here too and I'm meeting a new character, Scarlet. My plan is to keep on reading this and finish Clash of Kings because I've been reading that book for so long, it always, it happened to me with Game of Thrones, it's happening with A Clash of Kings. I can't believe that Sunday the last season is going to start. Today I'm planning on reading these two books and um, I think I'm going to go watch a movie at the cinema. I'm going to go watch after. <laughs> to say she let out a breath she didn't know she was holding type of sentence. <laughs> I decided to rearrange the books down here and up here. This looks a little bit like a rainbow but also today for some reason I mean the weather isn't that great but um, I do not have Wi-Fi so no distractions I should read. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just came back from the theaters I watched after and it was what I was thinking it was going to be, honestly, very cringy, very hilarious in my opinion. A lot of girls were like crying and stuff, I was laughing, I really wanted to laugh out loud. Just a typical good girl and bad boy story with um, a bad boy with a a dark past that we have to discover they fall in love and all that and then something some typical teenager stuff happens hey guys it is the next day it is the 12th of april and it's honestly 8 30 at night i'm about to go out and eat something out but i'm just gonna quickly say what i've done today um First of all, yesterday when I came back from the cinema, I continued on reading Scarlet. I read another... I read a lot, like 80 pages, and I'm glad about that. I'm really enjoying this book. I want to continue on when I come back. And yeah, what I did today basically is a little bit of spring cleaning. I went through this. I have my coats. And that's it. I have to still finish with this part of my room. I've put all the things that I do not want anymore over here in this bag temporarily. While I was doing that, I listened to two chapters of A Clash of Kings. Um, I'm almost done with it, finally. <laughs> hey guys, um, it is the 13th of April and yeah, first of all, I want to say that um, I'm kind of... I'm disappointed in myself because I didn't film anything last night. I wanted to film at least what I was eating, but I was so hungry that I just didn't do it. So yeah, when I came home, I didn't read anymore, and I just 
spend time on my phone and then went to sleep. But um, today I finished organizing my closet, spring cleaning done. And while I was doing that, I listened to, I think five chapters of A Clash of Kings. And I have to say that um, I was listening to the war scene you know, when Stannis comes to King's Landing and there's that war scene. And in the book, it's great. It's amazing how it's described. And there are little things that are different from the TV show. And it's fun to, you know, see those differences and actually read in depth what everything was going on. I mean, Tyrion's chapters were great. And Sansa too. I, I feel like... You know, Sansa can be a boring character sometimes, but she does go through a lot, like every single character, in my opinion. In Game of Thrones, not one single character has not gone through shit. But <laughs> the descriptions were amazing. I don't know if this is a good frame, but... Hey guys, it is the 14th of April and I'm starting my reading for today. I'm going to make sure this is not going to be my only update today like I've been doing the past few days. I'm going to start by reading 50 pages of this and yeah, because I, I have to keep reading. I am this way through. Yesterday I went out and I just keep getting distracted. I watched a video yesterday by the Irish reader and he did a challenge that he didn't you know touch his phone for entire entire day and I think I should do that even though it's gonna be difficult because I keep getting distracted by my phone and other things hey guys so it is 10 o'clock at night and guess what I did not read Scarlet today at least not yet but I actually finished A Clash of Kings because I really wanted to finish that book finally after two months. By the way, I'm in the kitchen. And um, yeah, I am so excited for the last season of Game of Thrones to begin. And I live in Italy, so the first episode starts in America, I think, at 9 p.m. And here it will be 3 o'clock in the morning. There's no way I can watch this episode so tomorrow I'm definitely staying off of social media until I watch the episode because oh my god I don't know if I'm the only one but I feel so much anxiety I just feel like everybody's gonna die and it's one of my favorite TV shows ever so I finished the book and I actually started another one I started my defense against the dark arts book aka a book that starts with an R and I started Room by Emma Donahue and I'm actually like 40 pages in already and it's told by the perspective of a five-year-old and it's so cute honestly how he describes things and it's so interesting hey guys happy monday or what i like to call it happy no social media monday because last night game of thrones began the last season and yeah i do not tolerate spoilers so i actually watched the episode and i just now put on wi-fi and all that because i didn't want to go on social media until i watched the episode so i did and great <laughs> now i'm fine last night i actually did read a little bit of scarlet i read 50 pages i am halfway through i'm really enjoying it but i feel like in comparison to cinder i feel like scarlet is a little bit more insta lovey because the time span in which the two characters fall in love or kiss or whatever is way too short. So I, I'm not sure how I feel about this because you guys may know that hence love is the trope I hate the most. But this may cause my rating to go down half a star. We'll see. I started Room. I actually uh, read until page 70. Still really liking it. I like how um, the kid talks about things. For example, Refrigerator is written with a, with a capitalized R. So that's, that's interesting. If I decide to go to the gym, if I'm not too lazy, I will read one of the short stories of Stars Above because when I'm doing cardio, I, I can read. And a short story... 
fits perfectly. Also, I just received a package. And I know that I just did a mini book haul and currently TBR video, but I think I've talked about this before. I talked about it on Twitter maybe. But um, here in Italy, when you turn 18, you actually receive 500 euros to spend on movie tickets or books or, I don't know, theater tickets, you know, cultural stuff. And um, this all began in 2016 and I turned 18 in 2015, so I didn't get that. And I feel like a lot of people receive these money and don't even spend it and it's such a waste. I would have spent all of it and quickly. These books were ordered thanks to my cousin who is 18 and has this money and she told me that if I ever wanted a book I can get it <laughs> with that money so I um, decided to order, I told her to order two books and I think she ordered three, one of the books is hers and I don't think all three of them are in here so let's do a mini unboxing and let's see which books are in here I always liked watching unboxing oh yeah so one of the books that i wanted is in here the other one is not here so i guess it's coming tomorrow but the other book in here is the one that um she wanted and it's just um la favola di amore psiche it's a latin greek um mythology book i don't know oh it's actually like one side of the page is in Latin and the other one is in Italian, so that's cool. But the book that I ordered is, oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. I really, really, really wanted to um, read this book for a long time and I finally got it. And oh, this, this cover is gorgeous. And I can't wait for the other book to come. And I can't wait to show you guys what the other book is. So, I guess tomorrow. I feel so anxious. Oh my god. I am reading Room. And I have so much anxiety. Guys, oh my god. I can't, I can't talk about it much because this is not a spoiler review or anything. But... I, my heart is pounding, honestly. I can't stop reading. I just want it to be over. The kids, the kid make, makes me frustrated, but at the same time, I have to understand him. He's only five years old. I finished the third part of the book, finally. I could not stop reading. I just had to finish this part because my heart was pounding. I had tears in my eyes. And finally, it's over, and I can pause a bit. So... I didn't go to the gym today. I read a lot. I'm not in a reading slump and I'm so happy about that. So happy. At the beginning of this year, I've been I've been in a huge reading slump. Huge. I had my exams. But right now I'm just such in a reading mood that I can't stop. Kept on reading room a little bit more and I am on page 180. I think 80 or 90 so uh, I read like a hundred pages today of that and I'm happy about it good morning guys it is the 16th of April it is 11 o'clock in the morning and last night I read 50 pages of Scarlet still really enjoying it some kind of plot twist happened but not that huge I, I was expecting it now I'm going to go to my old high school because I have to do something. Then I think I'm going to the gym and I'll read a short story maybe of Stars Above and then we'll see. Okay guys, I just came back from the gym and I cannot wait to show you. I just, the second book arrived. I am so excited to show you guys this. How do I open this? <gasps> oh my, oh. Did you guess it? Daisy Jones and the Six. Honestly guys, I really wanted this cover because it's colorful and I know that the US version is more neutral, you know, and this is very, very colorful. This book, this book is so hyped right now. I still have to read Evelyn Hugo, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and I already am acting like 
She's my favorite author. I don't know. And if I am disappointed by these two books, I'm gonna be so angry. This book is very stiff though. Hey guys, so I just filmed the video. I filmed my 5 star predictions part 2 video and I noticed that I had lipstick on my teeth and that was fun. I just don't feel like re-filming it. I guess I have to see when I edit it how it looks. Hey guys, it is the 17th of April and yesterday I continued on reading Room and today I finished it and it was good but three quarters through the book I got really sick of the narration honestly um so I'll talk about it more in my wrap up but I give it three and a half stars anyway I'm reading Scarlet and I have less than 100 pages left I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today too but I'm gonna read a little bit more and then maybe finish it tomorrow I am really liking in particular Thorn Short update you guys, it is like 1 o'clock in the morning and I am closing Scarlet for the night. I have another 50 pages and I'm done with this book, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. I actually, after dinner, I started another book. I started The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan and this, I think, is for potions, aka a sequel, so... The Sea of Monsters is the second book, and I already read 100 pages. It is short. It is, it is like 274 pages, so tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I'm going to get through this. So hopefully, I, I finish The Owls. I've counted the pages of the books and, that I need to read, and I basically have to read like 150 pages a day. We'll see if I, you know, get tired of it, if I, if I can make it through. Hey guys, it is the 19th of April. I did not vlog yesterday, but basically what I did, the only thing that I did yesterday was read. And I finished two books. I finished The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. And I gave it five stars, but I have to say that it wasn't like the best thing ever. And I feel it's because I'm too old for this series. So I'm I'm gonna give it four stars because I I do believe that if I was if I were younger, I would have loved it more. But yeah, I'm still gonna finish the five books that I own, the other three because I read the second one yesterday. I also finished Scarlet, and I really really enjoyed that one. I give it four and a half stars. Half stars off because of the insta love that I felt was there. I'm currently reading now Homegoing by Yajasi and I'm gonna... I read it... I'm reading Stars Above. So it is 9.30 p.m. It is still Friday the 19th and I read um, 20 pages of Homegoing. I think I am on page 40. I am at the second chapter. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a slow read day today but for now I'm going to go out read some more. <laughs> Easter Sunday it is the 21st of April yeah and as you saw in my previous clips yesterday I went out I went into the city in Palermo I just really needed to get out of the house and I did not read today I'm going to catch up on my reading and guys I have like five books to read and it's the 21st so um I, i'm probably not going to finish all of them i'm planning on trying and finishing the ones that i need to become a librarian and um another one if i can do it 
So let me show you the books that I still have to read. First of all, I need to finish Stars Above. I will finish it because I have other two short stories to read, so that will be easy. The two books that I need to read absolutely are Homegoing and The Spectacular Now. The other three books that I'll probably not get to, or if I can, I will read one of these, are Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, The Martian, and Eleanor and Park. Update, it is 3 a.m in the night and I just shut down my phone because right now in America the second episode of Game of Thrones has started so I don't want spoilers. I'm reading everything except the two books that I have to read, Homegoing and The Spectacular Now. I actually read The Martian all day. I'm on page 279. I have 100 pages to go and I'm done with this. It is cool. It is funny. I love his personality. Mark Watney is so funny. And there are some... There, there is a lot of science. I don't know. I'm not a sciencey person. I don't understand anything about science so i feel like i have to reread this book slowly and understand it more in the future i like that it's not like strictly you know survival mode and all sciencey thing physics and other things like that but it's also very funny it is the 22nd of april yeah it's the day after easter actually it's now past midnight, so it's the 23rd. Anyway, here in Italy, the day after Easter is still a holiday. It is called Pasquetta. And basically, we just eat and barbecue. And I am now going to go take a shower. I'm now putting on a face mask. <laughs> Hey guys, so I think I haven't told you that I saw. I'm sorry if my facial expressions are so stiff, but this mask is working. As I was saying, I watched the second episode of Game of Thrones. I think I'm going to make separate videos about that because I want to talk a little bit about my feelings towards this last season. Hey guys, it is the 26th and I don't feel great at all. <laughs> um, maybe it was the sun. In fact, I, um, I think I, I tanned, tanned a little bit, but my head is hurting so much and I don't feel great at all. I slept badly. Yesterday here in Italy was a holiday. It's I think um, the day Italy was freed for what concerns the Second World War. But I just had a great day with friends at the beach. We ate paninis. We, I, they played guitar. I don't know. We, we talked and all that and it was fun. Guys, I can't. I cannot. This is my gelato right here, by the way. But I I just watched the episode. And oh my god. At the same time that I was like freaking out with my friend, I discovered that maybe I'm going to study in England next year. So I don't know if I can handle all these emotions right now. Hey guys, it is later. It is actually after midnight so it's the last day of the readathon yay well not really because i still have to finish two books but i've been reading the spectacular now i am on page 120 i still have to read another 150 pages i think we'll see if i can do that and i've been reading homegoing and i'm on page 200 and i have another 100 pages. So basically I have to read 250 pages today. Today I haven't read anything because as I said, I watched the episode. I was freaking out for like 
an hour or two talking with all my friends. Then I talked to other friends because the May 1st, the day after tomorrow, oh my god, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to Rome. So we talked a little bit about, you know, the trip and what we were going to bring and all that. So what I have to do in the morning and the afternoon is prepare my suitcase for the trip, read these two books. Hey guys, it is the 18th of May and I finished editing the vlog finally, but I've noticed that I haven't given you the last update. So I just wanted to say that I have finished Stars Above, Home Going, and The Spectacular Now, and I will talk about these books in my wrap-up that will come up in a few days. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!